Welcome back to Greedfall. We are on our way to Glendon. And we're looking for the candle. So let's go to that. Well, hmm, we need this. One more level. And we're all good. I'm really gonna put a point into this, set this. Should all be fine. Let's go. Yeah, I took Kurt with me again because he's pretty good. Sheep is down there, that's cute. I can blood with him. Crafting. Hello, people. Nice people. Let's go on up here. Do it. Hello, my name is Desarde. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. May I enter? Good day, Legate de Sarde. No, this building is closed to Renaixe. I am Siora, daughter of Bladne, daughter of Meb. My mother, the Mal of the Red Spears, was a member of the Council. All here remember, and the Vorscht Tirse. She was a courageous Mal, but you are not yet Mal in her stead, and you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. Here is the seal of Donegad Katasak, of the village of Wen Xavier. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. He must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. Hmm. That went well. Thank you. I give you warm greetings, Glendan. I am de Sarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin and many other people on our island suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that Enon Milfrichtemann can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times, and you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial, the trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And I suppose this cavern is guarded? That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face and return purified by the waters of the cavern. Hmm. Can you tell me anything more about the role of the council? We gather here at every long night and every short night. During these nights, the clans are in disagreement and come here looking for wisdom of the council and of course also the High King. Those who have complaints against their mal may also be heard here and find justice. 
And when important events take place, if the balance is threatened, then we also meet here, so that the wisdom of all might be shared, and that we might act as the same people. Mm, that's really good. What can you tell me about the sanctuary? It is the most sacred place of the island. The hidden face, and still seen by all of you, in all meal frictimen. I protected these doors like my father before me and his father before him. And still none of us have ever entered. Am I to gather that there has never been a high king in your family? We are heads of the Council of Kings. And so it is prohibited for us to present ourselves. We must remain impartial. I see. And so you cannot speak to me about what you find inside? The heart of the island beats near here, the volcano. And I know that it is a place full of life. Great. Oh, what let's... can you tell me about your god? Hey. That the word god is too small to hold him. He is Tia Fradi in all and everything. The wisdom of his people, the gentleness of his rivers, the strength of his volcano. You are looking for wisdom to heal the Renaxe, but you still see it with the eyes of a sort of Donegat. He is much more than that. He is the essence of all life, of all magic, the spring. Oh, thank you. I must leave. It was very Goodbye. informative. Kwa awelem seg. You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. What more can I do for you? I was asked to pass the trial of water. What do you know about it? I have never passed it. Only those who must reveal their soul walk this path. The High Kings and Queens, it is a tremendous honor given to you, Renaixe. Do you have any advice to give me? I only know that the trial can be passed in many ways, and your choice will reveal the makings of your soul. One way is through strength, the other by ruse and heart. But I know no more than this. The trials are kept secret. Anything else? No. Nothing else, thank you. I need to leave. Good luck. And do not lose yourself in your own reflection. Mm, thank you, I will try. So let's go. You are come. Karans, I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Mm -hmm. Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaixe better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Of course. Yeah, let's go. Of course. Let's go. Helping out Theora is always a good thing. Well, let's do this. Help our friend. So, where are we going? Here, we forgot those they're right here in the camp. Through you. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? You know. <laughs> Not really, Father. My name is de Sardé. I'm the legate of the congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? 
We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnid. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the light was the only true path, even if she was attached to traditions. Hmm. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Valristal. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual oh, authority. No, not. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. Yeah, then we make new enemies. After we found the stones. <laughs> That's how this is gonna go. It's... rare. All the way up here, so we can just go to the camp. That will be nice. So, let's do this. these guys doing here, huh? Oh, let's look. Here's the stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karadek's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the keepers of promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise tell them to write and they take care of it. Okay. Well, let's do that. Um, which way? Yeah. Yeah, that's our little camp. And we are going to hop on over to the village again. See Karadek, the man who engraved the stone. Strange. It looks like no one's there, but the door's left open. Someone attacked the place, clearly. A sculpted engraved stone. <sighs> Empty. Everything is broken and turned upside down. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. This workshop was devastated on purpose. The owner must have left in a hurry, taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this. We must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? This engraved stone bears the mark of Barayag Nodas, Don Cass's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Let's go to Vigigido and we'll find out. Okay, and 
I'm leaving again. Hop on over to Dunkas village. See if we can solve this mystery with these bastards. Let's try to drive them out. What brings you here on Almanawi? We're looking for Karadek, the Keeper of Promises. Did he come back to your village? He did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something, and he wanted to hide. He must have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He thought that we should be fighting them, throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaesrad. And I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Is there anything else? Um, no. I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Qua Awalum say. Yep, let's go. Oh, he's in exile. Where would that be? All the way down here. That probably means a battle. But we shall see. Go and look to find him. Kurt should be good enough for a solid fight. Until we have a higher level and have a better weapon ourselves. Dragon blood within. Ah, uh, yeah, completely wrong way. Now I cannot get up here, can I? Yeah. Silly me. Silly, silly me. Now we gotta go here, and go back here, and go back here again. Well, let's pull the cheese. We're not fighting them. Don't worry, you all can sleep. All good. Oh, hello, Foxy. We get to see some scenery here. That's nice. Squeaking. Foxy. Try that again, without fucking it up. So. Mm, I love how we can have our hats and capes in this game, that's pretty neat. Fashion over practicality. <laughs> Could wear a helmet for better armor, but I'm not going to. Okay, let's not go down that way again. Go up here and that. And let's go down here. So let's wipe the place. Wild and free and pure nature. He's over there. No, oh, right here. Hello. Siora, Bertir Tumad Donegad. What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. 
What does it consist of? Most words must be free, and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the keepers of promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you are a kind of cleric? Hmm. Thank you, Karadeg. Do you want to know anything else? Why, yes, of course. We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaigs, isn't it? We should never have accepted to seal such a promise. I did not like them, but I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Bladnid was demanding it. And now that she is no longer with us, these Monasinaiga are chasing me. It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Donegad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. The Rinaigse only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life. And because of them, I am forced to hide here. Since you want to chase the Renaigse away, and since you want protection, why don't you join the rebels? We could indicate the location of one of their camps for you. The rebels? The Donea Exregao. They fight the Renaigse, and they accept people from all clans. I have heard about them. But I didn't know where to find them. We could help you find them. But we need this tree bark. It's the only way to prove that the priests lied. In that case, take the tree bark. I hope that it will help you to chase these Renaigse away, Donega. And I did not think I would say this one day. But thank you, Renaigse. What do these glyphs say? That we will assist the priests in their war against the lions, and they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village, or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to Isild. Let's go. Yeah, go directly. It's probably one of the best features of the game. Going straight to the points you need to go. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us, and insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? Oh, yes. I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But if you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the light. You are nothing but manipulators and liars. And you will leave this village, by will or by force. 
You dare to threaten us? Oh, yes. Us, the emissaries of the Enlightened? We will not abandon our secret mission, even if we have to fight for it. Uh, Thirith, you are in Ithath village. You've got nothing here. Yeah. I am glad I avenged their affront to our mother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Oh no. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. It's nothing. Nothing at all. So let's check out the bodies so we can loot, 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 need, weapon. Always good. Nice gauntlets, buffs, and no boots. It's all pretty good. Yeah, end game style gear. Not here, we need to go. Not this. This, please, thank you. Um, the Yora had uh, something to say, I think. Karans, do you need something? I must pass the trial of water. Do you know anything about it? I have heard it talked about. It is a trial that all must pass if they wish to become the High King. One says that the trial reveals the true personality of those who pass it. My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little. But it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response. Even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed. And there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Mm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. Anything else? Um, no, How did it. you know that those missionaries were lying? After all, given the situation, your mother could have wanted to form an alliance. I knew my mother well. We were close. She would never have renounced her beliefs to forge an alliance. I think I understand. Your island, your culture, and your faith are so closely tied that you cannot renounce one without renouncing the others. Exactly! The Earth talks to us because we believe in it, in its spirits. Without these beliefs, we would be but empty shells. Our mother would never have wanted that for us. I am happy to see that you understand us so well. Anything else? No, uh, um, no. I must leave you. See you later. So, what is our reputation like with anybody? Everyone is unfriendly in the companions department. Salim does not like us because, well, they're shitty. So we treat them like that, but Chilean's also not so well. Because we side with the natives more than with them. Which is our goal after all. Coin guard is okay. Our own Congregation is also kind of okay. And... Yeah, they're doing pretty well, I guess. Generally speaking. So, let's... Uh, no, not this. We need to do this. Yes, we can go right here. That's wonderful. The heart's gates. Dog red. Hmm. It's 
halfway around the corner here. Okay, I'll just run the map. This is another path. Kind of wanna go that way and see. Where that will, if that allows us to go and unlock a new area. Oh, half is locked. That's the only way over there? It seems so. Could go from here, no. I think it goes from here, okay. That path is off. completely locked off. Then we go straight to where we need to. But we finish up with this in the next episode. So I see you all next time.